Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how to reset your forgotten Windows 10 or 11 password in just a few minutes and without losing any of your files. This method works for only local accounts. If you have a Microsoft account, you can check in the description and you see how to reset that password. This video is for only educational purposes and people who want to reset their Windows 10 or 11 passwords you know in order to get started what you're going to do you're going to need a windows bootable disk or flash drive so let us first create a bootable disk very fast and we get started and uh, now in order to create a bootable usb drive what you're going to do you're going to go to your computer and click google chrome or any browser that you want then you come and type download the rufus tool you go to that one rufus website then we shall come then look for the rufus to, uh, to download okay uh i can go with any i'll click the portable version i think it's easier to use i'll close that uh then i'm going to download the portable version for rufus then i'll come and open that one uh, afterwards what you're going to need uh i'll click no for that we're going to need a windows iso image you can use any iso image you want i'll use that for windows 11 so what i'll do i'm going to come and click download windows 11 iso file i'll click enter then i'll come and click on download here then i'll scroll down on the windows 11 page uh, then I'm going to select Windows 11 mod ISO that I'll click download now uh, very fast. Then I'm going to select the product language. I'll come and select English United States. You can choose any language you prefer. Then I'll confirm that. Then I'm going to click 64 bit download. I'll click download. Then it is going to start downloading. So after downloading that, we shall use that to create our bootable disk. So uh, once you're done downloading, uh, you can come connect your USB drive or the USB flash drive. Uh, then you come and select uh, that Windows image. I'll click open, then afterwards, I'll come and select the partition scheme, MBRO, GPT. I think uh, most computers now use GPT. You can select based on your computer. Then I'll click start uh it's just just we just need something small we don't need all this you can just click ok because our aim is not to install the windows and i'll click ok and we shall start uh so now we have finished uh creating the bootable usb drive so i'll press any key to boot from the usb drive after booting into the windows setup you will be presented with this screen. So I'm going to hold the shift key and F10. So shift key plus F10 on your keyboard. Then you will have this elevated command prompt. So I'll maximize that you can see. So I'm going to type reg edits. Then I'm going to click enter. So after that one, I'm going to come and look for the H key local machine. Okay, so I'll click on the HK local machine. So when you choose the HK local machine, you come and click on file, then you go to load hive. So when you go to load hive, you come and click on this PC, select local disk C, then click on Windows, then uh, under the Windows, go and look for a folder which is called system32. So I'm going to click on system32. Then I'm going to look for a folder called OSK. OSK. So scroll down, there's so many folders, okay? And file. So I'm going to click and look for OSK. Uh, let me search for OSK here. Here it is. Now this is OSK. So I'm going to select that OSK folder, right click on it, and I'm going to say rename. Then I'm going to write zero at the end so i'm going to rename it to osk zero then i can maybe click here so now you may not see the zero if you refresh you're able to see that it has been renamed okay so do not worry about that but it has been renamed 
Then afterwards, uh, I'm going to scroll down and look for another folder that and another file that is called CMD. So we shall look for a file called CMD. So I'll scroll down through this and look for another one which is called CMD. There are so many files, so you just have to go through slowly by slowly. So this is CMD. So I'm going to select CMD, then I'm going to right click on CMD, then I'm going to say rename. So I'm going to rename the CMD file to OSK. Then I can maybe click down here. So do not worry, the, file, the files have been renamed. All you have to do is to refresh and you say the names have taken effect, okay? You can check through and confirm. Then when I'm done with that, I'm going to cancel this. Then I'm also going to come and cancel this. Then I'm going to come and exit this command prompt. Then I'll go ahead and cancel this to restart my PC. So I'll cancel this one and I'll restart my computer. Uh, so we have restarted our computer and when the Windows login screen or welcome screen. So you can see if I try maybe to put in a password, it is still a wrong password. Okay, so uh, what I will do now, I'll click on ease of access or the accessibility ones here. Then uh, they will provide me the list of all accessibility options. But we shall look for the on screen keyboard because remain we change the on screen keyboard or SK on screen keyboard with a command prompt. So I'm going to click on the on screen keyboard. And once I do that, I'll get the command prompt. So under the command prompt, we are going to type N E. T P L W I Z. Then I'm going to hit enter. So they will provide me the list of users who are the user accounts that are within my computer. You may have more than one, but I have one. So if you have more than one, please choose the target you're preferring to. Then I'm going to choose Buinex since I have only one user account. Then I'm going to click on reset password. So I'm going to type a new password like that. Then I also come and confirm the new password like that. Then I'm going to click OK. Then I'll click OK. So when I'm done, I'll also close the command prompt. So I'm going to come here and type in the new password that I have just created. So type in the new password, then I'm going to click login or sign in. So the computer is going to rest and to be able to sign in. So we are finally signed in into our computer or the local account that we have. So you can see everything is working perfectly fine. So what we need to do, we have to go back and change and rechange what we did. We have to change the OSK and the CMD again. But this time we do not need to go back and restart the computer from the logging into the windows setup what no all we need to do is we are just going to click on the windows button then click on power then hold the shift key on your keyboard and click restart so this is going to restart the computer into the advanced setup so what we do we shall click on troubleshoot then we shall click advanced options. Then we shall click on command prompt. When the computer restarts into command prompt, you come and select that account. I'll select that one. Then I'll come and input in the new password because now I know the new password that I set up. So I'll just put in the new password like this. Then I'm going to come and click continue. So we are able now to log into the command prompt. So now what I will do, I'm going to type reg edit again, like we did last time. Then I'm going to hit enter. It's supposed to be reg edit. Okay, like that. Then I'll hit enter. So we shall come and select H key local machine again. Click on file, then go to load hive. Then uh, select, select this PC. Click local disk C, then select Windows. Then you go down and look for a folder called System32 in Windows. Then I'm going to come and 
uh, look for OSK0. Remember, we named it. So it is going to be OSK0. See, here it is. And this is the one that we changed. So I'm come, I'll come to OSK, this one, the one which has the command prompt logo, the OSK, then I'm going to right click and rename it to CMD again. Then I'll click here. So it has been renamed. Then I'll come and right click on OSK0. I'll right click on it and I'm going to say rename and I'm going to remove the zero and also click here. So it has been renamed only that you cannot see that unless you refresh. If you refresh your, if you refresh this side, you'll be able to see that. Okay. You can find out refreshing or you can go back. Now, uh, when you are done with that, uh, I will just go and cancel this one. Okay. Cancel this. Then I'll also come and close this here. Then I'll exit the command prompt. You can just type exit or close that. Then I'm going to go back and click exit and continue to Windows 10. So we have finished uh, logging in. So you can finally confirm that uh, if I click here again and I click on the on screen keyboard, the screen keyboard showing up on my computer. Okay. So that is it for that. Uh, you can log into your computer. Thank you for following our tutorial guide. Please subscribe to our channel. If you have any issues that are happening, comment, then I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you and goodbye.